Okay, so for the last piece, we have legs left here. We'll do this very similar to how these antennae were done. I'm going to zoom in first, grab my pen tool, make a shape. I'm going to go ahead and end this. So I'm just going to make a line. Now I'm going to create my foot separate from my leg. I'm going to go just below there and create myself a foot shape. You can click on that last anchor to get rid of this handle. And I think that looks pretty good. Change my fill back to black again. I'm going to copy these two and paste it for all of these back feet that I've got. And then for this other one, I'm going to make a new line because this one's a little bit more curved. And now for this one, I'm going to press enter to end that line and get my selection tool and copy paste the foot, use the same foot, copy paste, and drag, and last one. Okay, that last one looks a little funny, so I'm going to change it a little bit, except for this is distorted. So I'm going to move this one first, and then move that one separate. Whoops. Always helpful to zoom in. And there you have it. Okay, let's just see what we ended up with. Okay. The last thing I'm going to show you today is how to group, select all of your objects, and command G to group it. So now, let's go ahead and turn off our background image. That's what our B looks like. And if I were to move this, I'm not going to just move the eyeball if I move it. I'll be moving the whole shape because this is grouped. If I wanted to still work with something on here, I can. I can just isolate the shape. So if, for example, if I wanted this eyeball, I could double click and that's going to allow me to work with just one portion of it. That looks a little funny. Although I wonder, that's cute too. Anyway, you can make your own artistic choices. I just want to show you how to do that. Once finished, you can press escape or you can use this back arrow. And now this is back to being grouped so that it won't fall apart when you try to move it. All right, so that finishes this portion. We've made a fleur de lis here. We've learned how to use our pen tool, how to use shapes and the pen tool to make characters or objects into vectors on Illustrator. So now go and make your own characters and see what you can come up with.